Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how do you take your screenshots. Now I create a lot of screenshots for a lot of tutorials that I do every single week on Fridays when I do my process and workflow design series. There's a workbook that goes with each of those lessons and those workbooks have a ton of screenshots in them. Now I can get on my mobile device here and I can quickly grab a screenshot of this lovely post on Twitter and I can just send this off and add it into Slack or share it wherever wherever I need to share it with people so that they can see whatever it is that I'm trying to show them right now here's the thing there's what most people do right in the accounting world I refer to what most people do as you know like bookkeeping and then there's bulletproof bookkeeping so what I want to talk about here is what I would refer to as the bulletproof way of handling taking screenshots which basically means I go the extra mile I take the extra steps I don't just take a screenshot and fire it off into slack or wherever I actually take a little bit of time and put in just a little bit of effort like just an ounce and do things to that screenshot to make it really clear to people what I'm trying to show them, what I want them to see. It's about making the experience just that much better for the people who are going to be users of your technical manuals, tutorials, whatever it might be that you're taking screenshots for in order to share with people. Generally speaking, it's because you want to show people something, right? So um, I might take a screenshot like the one that I just took with my phone and share it into Google Drive. Very easy to do with my mobile device. And then I can do a couple of things with it really quickly before I post it in Slack. Now, does it take a little longer to do that? Does it require some extra effort? Like I said, yes, it most definitely does. But does it make all the difference in the world in terms of the experience I'm creating for people who are interested in what I'm putting out there? Absolutely. So my course coming up here on Nerds Content Creation Toolbox is going to teach you exactly what I'm talking about. I'll give you a quick example. Let's take that screenshot that I just took and I'm going to do exactly like I said. I'm going to send it into Google Drive and then I'm going to bring it up into Snagit, which is how I take my screenshots. And we're going to just polish it up just a little bit, just, just ever so slightly. Okay. That's the screenshot I just took. I'll tap share. I'll tap drive. By default, it's going to send it right into my root my drive folder, which is perfectly fine. It'll be really easy to find from there. And then I can open it up and snag it back over on my desktop. All right. So over here on my desktop, I'll go to my drive. And we're looking for that screenshot. So here I am. Let's rename it so I know what it is. Screenshot. Twitter post. Okay. And then I'm going to right click this and we're going to open with, and I'm going to choose the Snagit editor. Okay. Let's bring that down onto my screen here that I'm sharing with you. Okay. A couple of quick little things that I do. And again, it's just those extra little things that make the difference. You want to give it a little shine. Somebody asked me about this recently. We go to effects and I happen to like this one. Um, I've also used uh, this one quite a bit that gives it kind of the rough edges, right? So you just sort of choose whichever one you like best. Okay. And then of course I can do a little highlight, right? So if I want somebody focused on the fact that this is a post from Intuit Accountants, a little highlight, the right effect. And once you set up any kind of effect like this in Snagit, it's very, very forgiving. It lets you very easily resize it. Of course, I can crop it, right? There's a whole lot I can do. And in the first lesson of this course, I'm going to be reviewing everything uh, that you need to know about how to set up your screenshots and make them shine, polish them up, make them look gorgeous using Snagit. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about Camtasia and how to record and do simple editing, nothing too sophisticated. Then we're going to take a look at some copywriting techniques, some things I learned. I'm going to give you some books to read that will make your copywriting that much stronger. And finally, in the fourth lesson, I'm going to show you how this all comes together, how to create a technical manual, taking screenshots, you know, using uh, an application, let's say you're 
doing a tutorial on QuickBooks Online and how to put that all together in, say, Google Docs or in Notion or anything like that so that you can create really nice-looking technical manuals that you can use for all kinds of purposes. It could be used as a way of drawing in prospects. It could be used as a way of you know, its own stream of revenue in terms of creating content that people will pay for. So there's a whole range of things you can do with these skills. I'm giving you the whole entire toolbox for how I do these things. So recap, you're going to learn Snagit, you're going to learn Camtasia, you're going to learn Google Docs, you're going to learn um, uh, Notion, right? Because even if you don't use Notion to create the manual, I use Notion now to keep track of all the content that I'm creating. It's the perfect tool for that sort of thing. So wherever you happen to be watching this, if you're not right on the registration page for my content creation toolbox course, check the description of this video and I guarantee you there'll be a link there that'll make it really easy for you to go in there and sign up. Live registration is always free. Recordings are extra and you can buy the workbooks as well so that you have access to the detailed write-ups and screenshots that I create using this very process that I'm teaching you in this very course.